had an idea. Um, how about make a drum kit out of oil cans? So went away, bought a uh, Basics drum kit off eBay for 100 bucks, and then collected lots of uh, oil cans. And now it's time to put it together. It's roughly 16 inches. We're going to mark it up, drill some holes, and it'll be great. Each drum has to be individually tuned to make sure we've got a set that matches one another. So I'll give the shell a little bit of a tap and um, yeah, I think that's perfect. That's going to be beautiful. Yeah, of course, I've done an enormous amount of work to get the bearing edge absolutely perfect. And as you can see, um, you know, that is just just the way DW Factory or anybody else would uh, would want it. Sometimes you get a little bored through the day, you know, it's monotonous and uh, making a tin can drum. It's time for banjo solo. Went down to the crossroad, went down on my knees. Went down to the crossroad, went down on my knees. so far I'm pretty uh, very happy with it and it's inspiring me to go a little bit further here she is it's all, it's all coming together really well I'm uh, really happy with the red X Tom that's a monster fantastic now this trouble was the snare drum there are no 14 inch oil cans that I can find, uh, and my snare's 14 inch. Always time for conga solo. I do have an old garbage can or trash can right here. And strangely enough, this is uh, 14 inches. So I'm going to try and make snare out of it. Okay, she's just about there. Snare drum uh, complete. Got it mounted here off the uh, hi hat stand. The lugs on now. I've uh, I've done this with a single head on the top, nothing on the bottom, and it sounds pretty good. Now I've put the snare across the uh, middle of the drum itself, and uh, I don't know what it'll sound like on this microphone, but um, she's not fully tuned up. But it sounds pretty good. 